Hello viewers, this is Kulsum Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic business cycle. This is lecture 4 of macroeconomics. So let's start with the topic. The business cycle, also known as the economic cycle or trade cycle, are the fluctuations of gross domestic product around its long term growth trend. The length of a business cycle is a period of time containing a single boom and contraction in sequence. So business cycle tells us that how the gross domestic product is performing in the country. Sometimes we have ups, sometimes we have down. So other names of business cycle are economic cycle or trade cycle. So let's start with the business cycle. So we have four phases. Those are boom, contraction, recession and revival. So let's see how they are, these are. So economy is actually moving in ups and downs. Like we were expecting that we are going to have a straight line. But actually somewhere we are performing below the expectation and somewhere where we are performing above the expectations. So how to make the diagram? First of all we have to take time on one scale and national output on the other scale. So the potential output is here that we were expecting but actually we could not reach to that point rather we had other ups and downs so the actual output is low but the potential that we expected from our economy was high so we could not reach to the potential level so we have four phases we have trough to that we can call it recession or uh, we have expansion and we have peak then we have again recession and we have drove and then go on so this is the trend growth that economy has so when there is expansion or we call it boom is the period in the business cycle from a drop up to a peak during which output and employment rise so this is the time period when business economy when economic activity is on the peak like businesses are performing very good so this is why they are going to offer more jobs and they are going to increase their outputs and recession or contraction are the uh, is the slum is the period in the business cycle from a peak down to a trough during which output and employment fall so this is the time period where employment will fall and output will fall why because economic activity is passive the businesses are not earning a lot so this is why they will have to reduce their productivity so for that sake they may go for downsizing their business or they may have a sluggish activity now what are the twin problems of business cycle the very first problem is inflation definitely when we are on the peak it means all the economic activities are performing very well so what will happen because people have more money so they are coming up with uh, more money so this is why it will cause inflation in the economy and the other problem that of the business cycle is unemployment so definitely when the economic activity is sluggish it is in recession or contraction so what will happen we will have to reduce outputs so this is why the unemployment rate will increase so inflation and unemployment are the twin problems of business cycle so when there is inflation or when there is peak how to uh, what to do what we could expect from a government the government will have to reduce its expenditures because already the economy is performing up till the satisfactory level so this is why government need not to bring more of the investments then we will have to increase the taxes because people are earning a lot so government should uh, earn from that and when we have uh, unemployment what will happen government will have to increase its expenditures because economic activity is low so to support the economic activity or to support the economic you can say investment so government will have to bring in injections into the economy so because of those injections uh, economic activity will have a boost so uh, for, uh, one thing that I would like to tell you over here is when you were in trough at, at this time you were uh, your business activity or economic activity was very very slow so what did you do you increased the aggregate expenditure of the government so when you, you are going to increase the expenditure it will have multiplier effect in the economy like if you want to open up a hotel definitely the hotel will have to have uh, infrastructure it will have to have uh, cooking ranges ovens 
and the interior designing and it will uh, it is going to open jobs for the waiters for the managers for the watchman for the cook and so and so on so because of one economic activity so many activities are triggered so this is why it will cause the economy it will push the economy towards the peak so what you learned was the multiplier effect the other thing we will have a negative multiplier effect in this direction like when we were having a peak at that time uh, definitely the economy is doing very good but what happened that government has decreased its expenditure and when you are going to decrease the expenditure and increase the taxes it is called tight fiscal policy so when you have tight fiscal policy we will have negative multiplier effect because when you are going to reduce one economic activity it will cause 10 other economic activities to go back so when you are going to step back it means that you are going to push the economy down to the trough or to the recession so this is why we will have negative multiplier effect and when you reach to the recession now you need to come up with your investments with your money so government is going to ease the fiscal policy by increasing government expenditure and reducing taxes because already people have less of the money so if you are going to charge them high taxes they will have even more lesser money so this is why government will have to use easy fiscal policy over here so because of that easy policy uh, the economy is going to have a positive push and it will reach to again peak so you have learned two things over here the first thing is inflation and unemployment the other thing is when to use tight fiscal policy and when to use easy fiscal policy so this was all about my today's lecture if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you